that boots and rash Two side doors, hit a tent all black Rap in New York, pay straight in cash Brand new sex, get a brand name Fanny Got me a check, uh, I'ma go spend it Kiss in the neck, yeah, she in the belly Need no flex, cause they don't spend it I bet. Uh, 10k likes on this video. Um, and let's get, you know. 10k likes, I got you, bro. Uh, whenever. So, guys, I got video, you. We'll be showcasing Rail C's combat. This is the second teaser. There's going to be one more teaser before the full on movie. But oh, that's categories and weapon. Is very, and it's literally innovation. It's not the stiff combat system you see in almost every anime game these days. We have four to five ammo to kick them up. You some No, this is something else. This, this, this has so much systems to it. And, uh, let, let me stop talking. Let's just let me show you guys. In real C's, we have air, ladder, and combat. That's Katakuri's weapon, I know. Is combat that's made in the air. It's not your usual air combos that you see in most anime games, right? Where you can just go and you kick them up in the air. Uh, if you played the Devil May Cry games, uh, we really inspired this combat based on air laddering. For now, we're going to show you like a air laddering, air laddering com uh, combo. Oh, oh, what? Hold on. They got the anime showdown type air combat too. X is my evade, uh, and Q is my parry. But I want to show you guys uh, the other parry system. All right, so punch me. So you have a parry when you block and click. Now this parry system, we built all the system in. We're not adding it later in the game like we did Chindo. We learned a lot Yo. of Chindo and um, with our lessons learned in Chindo, we were able to build a really solid combat system from the ground up and include everything that is needed in the game. Uh, you know, when we design it. And it's not like we're adding things over time like how we added an air combat system in Chindo. Now, um, I want to show you guys. Now, if you don't block ahead of time, you there's an evade system. So, M1 me. Now, you can just M, uh, evade with the X. Now, the evade uh, builds uh, by getting hit and it builds over time as well. Now, uh, aside from the evade, there is a parry. So, punch me. No, I parry. And then I what? Hold on, but that combat is hard. Hold on, let's put that 1080. That combat is hard. Set, go. Oh, I got the fist off. All right, ready? Set, go. Yeah, so this depends on your camera it's... turning as well. They just. So what? They just clashed? So it's all skill based in that way. Now, we created an armor system. Now, like, it's. I like hyper armor. There's Stargate armor. There's M1 priority armor. There's hyper armor, strong armor, and invulnerable armor. We're gonna show you the M1 priority armor. So knock me into the wall. Now you're gonna see my character glow blue, right? Now I'm gonna try to M1. Now because they have the M1 priority armor, you can't just knock someone into a wall over and over with abilities and keep comboing off. Them. Oh no, wall combos! M1 speed. Now, uh, That's smart. Is the speed of an M1. Oh, this is not fast. That is not fast. I don't know why people are saying it's fast. It's not fast. The dagger is a light weapon. A katana is a medium weapon, and the sword on my back is a heavy weapon, basically dark blade. Now, uh, obviously, dark blade is going to have heavy M1s, and it's going to be a lot slower than a dagger. Um, but um, there is a difference, so I'm gonna show you the M1 speed. So this is the M1 speed of the Dark Blade. Now we're gonna just clash a little bit. Ready, set, go. No way! I did that. Now you're wondering why would anyone use a? This is so One Piece, bro. No, this is. Uh, a, a this is crazy. So there is Q spec range, right? For example, you see how far that is. Now I'm gonna just take off my. You can clash like. This is the M1 Q spec. Now, um, this is a combat ability Q spec. For example, Q specs have different ranges. In this M1 system, you, you start with five M1s, two, three, four, five. As you saw, you can air combo without punching someone. Let me show you guys. That's a basic air combo right there. So there's three different ways to do air combos in this game, and they're, they're gonna matter when you have fighting style, sword, sword abilities, and devil fruits, or wherever. I mean, god fruits, then avoid the copyright. So I'm gonna show you the first um, air combo. One, two. One, two, three. Now that's just a push away. So depending Whoa. on the type of air combo you do, it's gonna really depend on the type of combo you wanna pull off as well. 
So one, two, three. Kick them up. This is the fourth slam. Now the last one is you kick the player into the air. One, two, three, four. You really want to get familiar with how to use it. <laughs> Yo! It's simple to do. This and, is ridiculous. Uh, combo laddered and extended as well. All right, now. Uh, Dude, the map and terrain is amazing. I don't even like. It looks kind of realistic, bro. Uh, parry each other in the air. Ready? So air combo me. Oh my gosh! No, bro. This is. Oh, this is the game. I have been. This is the type of game we've been looking for, bro. Every type of PvP, any type of PvP. Bro, any type of PvP player that loves One Piece games, this is the type of theme we've been looking for, bro. What? The combat is not even like. What other game has this? This is so One Piece. It's not going to die in a year. There's no way. That's so cap. I refuse to believe that you think that it's gonna die in a year, bro. Kick someone into the air, as you saw with the fourth one. Oh, wait, that's the third one. That's the, the third combat one. is one, fire. Two, three, four. Them up. Now this is the air tilt right here. That's how you're gonna add combo extend with the fourth hit. And on top of that, you got the double jump and Q, which is the down tilt. It's also in a block breaker as well, and it also puts you in M1 priority. All right, block break me. Now, you don't start with Rokushiki or Black Leg. And just for information purposes, Gepo has uh, eight jumps until you fall down. I'll show you the max distance. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you can air combat. So that's the max distance. And now you can't press space afterwards, so you can't like abuse the system. It, once you fall down, you're, you're ground locked again. So, and then, you know, you can Gepo up and find the air. Yo, that is such a what the Bro, that is such an anime like feel, bro, with the combat, bro. I don't honestly, bro, you can't lie. Never mind, it's not gonna die. I'm telling you, bro. Kicks this way, or he kicks that way. I don't think he actually does that. The ladder combo is crazy. Oh my gosh. Jambe, Jambe. Until next time, now we're going to show you a sneak peek of the customization. Yo. Sneak peek of the menu. Let me show you the menu now. Oh, that's interesting. And then you guys see crafting recipes. Yes, uh, the game's gonna have a crafting system. It's gonna. This game is adventure, uh, discovery, on death exploration, end? and survival type, kind of survival. Video. How those weapons? You get your avatar stats. Uh, you got the controls. Uh, and last but not least, we're gonna show you a sneak peek of looting. Oh. What the heck? They give it like, um, you know, one of those old games on like, um, the Game Boy? They give that kind of feel with the like menu and stuff. Um, the combat sneak, it, it was amazing, whatever you think it is.
but the trees the footsteps the everything's being recorded right now to be more optimized we're, we're focusing a lot on optimization and gameplay so uh see you guys in the next video no bro i i can't lie bro that was a w dude i have not what a, dude what they put so much detail and time into nah that is a w bro y'all can't lie what do, what do y'all think what do y'all think about it bro if they really keep doing what they're doing and make everything look good bro and just like the whole one piece but it's gonna be fire bro